Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you a quick demonstration of how Integio's Map Intelligence integrates Tableau with ArcGIS. Here we have a Tableau dashboard showing CO2 emission data published by the Greater London Authority. The initial view shows emissions broken down by vehicle type and also by road type. And of course, at the centre of the dashboard we have a map currently displaying each of London's boroughs themed by total emissions. As shown in the legend, the red areas have higher levels of CO2 emissions than the yellow areas. This provides us with a high level view of emissions, but we can also get a finer grain view by theming on each grid square in the map. Here we can see that there are particular areas of each borough that contain higher concentrations of CO2 emissions, which is something we could drill down into. We can also easily generate a heat map over the data to get an even finer grain picture of where potential problem areas are. The heat map shows us that the boroughs that have the highest overall concentration of CO2 emissions don't necessarily represent where the highest local levels are. Clicking anywhere on the map will provide us with further detail on that location. We're going to concentrate on this small red area here. In the flyout, we can see further detail about that location. We can see the emission for each vehicle type in that borough. We're also provided with an option to drill down to a complete report for that location. I'll activate that now. Map Intelligence allows us to link other reports to geographical locations on the map. Now we're looking at a detailed analysis for the Hammersmith and Fulham Borough. On the right hand side we can see emissions for each road type and individual road. And it also shows us which roads have the highest levels. The map shows roads themed by CO2 levels, along with grid squares to provide an overview of the general areas with the highest concentrations. Now, all data on the map is sourced directly from the dashboard, so any filters applied to the dashboard will also be reflected in the map. If I focus here, for example, on single carriageways, the map will update to show only roads that are single carriageways. And likewise, we can use the map to filter the report. With a number of, op of options here, uh, we can select data by drawing on the map or from a drive time polygon uh, from a particular location on the map, for example, within a five minute drive time. Um, we could also select data within administrative boundaries. Here I'm going to use the marquee selection tool though, just to filter on this square here. You'll notice now that the values and charts in the report have updated, indicating that the report has now been filtered by the selection on the map. Now I'm going to switch on a layer that displays bicycle parking bays. These are currently themed by how far away each bay is from the nearest train station. Uh, we can also see them themed by the capacity of each parking bay. Finally, we can view further detail in each road segment by clicking on the map. Each chart in the flyout shows the vehicles that contribute the most to emissions in that location. This could be used to help plan bus routes, cycle lanes, cycle parking, or anything else that could help reduce or even redistribute CO2 emissions for a given location. If you'd like more information on Integio's integration between Tableau and ArcGIS, you can visit our website at integio.com or feel free to drop us a line at info at